All right, it's been seven days since it's rained, been low humidity throughout. I am familiar with pine, it's great for friction fire. It's up off the ground, the bark is off of it. It's been exposed to the drying elements of the wind and the sun. And it's nicely degraded. I think we'll use this one right here. And there's a long enough piece on it and a straight enough piece for the spindle. That should be it right there. Let's see if we can break it up. And I don't have to just depend on this. I'm gonna break off another couple branches like, like that one right there. That's a good spindle right there, if I want it. Now let's get something wider, wider for a good fireboard, hold on. Night. That should be all we need. All right, here we go. The star of the show, Stanley 10 049. It's just got an inch and a half blade on it. And I'm going to try to do this with just one sharpening. I'll let you know if I have to sharpen it up. And of course, since we don't have a saw, I'm going to go ahead and be making girdle cuts you know, release cuts all the way around and breaking it off. So let's start with the bow right here. This is a good piece for a bow. six feet of paracord just gonna make a loop in it and tie a knot in that loop stick it over the tip come down here all right a little short bow but it should work just fine um, let's see now I actually I am actually going to get a spindle long enough for a change so let me make a release cut here and another release cut right here All right, I'm trying to come up with a good fireboard. We got our spindle. Bow. Look at this great piece of fat wood right here. I'm gonna flatten that off, put a divot in there. This will make a great bearing block. I'll hold it just like that. I'll do that right now while we're looking at it. It's the fireboard that's that I'm concerned about. Because I want to use some of this thicker wood for the fireboard, but then I've only got the knife to break it down. I thought that I could crack it in half like I did this bearing block. Just didn't work out. 
might be able to use this. I need to break this knot off here though. Good. Now this can sit down flat like this. I can put my foot right here and we'll use that for the fireboard right here. All right. Love the way the spindle turned out. It's got some breakout right here. Shouldn't affect it at all. Got some ant tunnels and just one little ant tunnel up here. And look at all the fat wood in that bearing block. So good. That's really one of the most important pieces right there. A good slick bearing block. And the fireboard. Really would have liked one wider, but I'll be careful with it. Try to steer the drift and uh, make it drill right down through the center. All right, I've got five items now out of the Virginia pine. Spindle, bow, fireboard, bearing block, and fuel wood. Let's go for the burn in. Just need to shape that up a little bit, not much. Plenty of sap in there, that's why that dust clung to that fireboard. Let's cut our notch. Oh, look at this. Look at that melted fat wood on there.
I figure 150 strokes ought to be enough. And we have a big fat ember, good. I had to, I had to steer the spindle a little bit, but not much. You know, I had to tilt it back this way to make it come back towards the notch. It wasn't bad though. All right. Our beautiful Virginia pine fatwood barren block. Did a great job, didn't it? And the Virginia pine bow did an excellent job. And that sappy, sticky dust wanting to stick to the top of the fireboard. You see what I mean? How it wasn't really wide enough, but boy, we made it drill right down through the center, didn't we? Did a good job. Great, big, fat ember. Something that's easy to work with. You want to let your embers coalesce for at least a couple of minutes so that they'll come together and get tight. And the flames will come a lot quicker when you put it in the tinder bundle. That worked out perfectly. All done with my little Stanley 10-049 pocket knife. So if you've got patience, you can make even a little pocket knife like this with just an inch and a half blade on it, make a great bow drill friction fire. All right, y'all. Appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.